All right, traders, Damien here again. We're going to be making that video on trade management and entries. And what I thought I would do is uh, go to the market replay and simulate the live market environment so that we can do this and we can even fast forward it and, and make things move a little faster so that we can not waste too much time. I thought that would be better than just pushing the candles forward. So I'm going to show you how that works real quick. Um, sometimes I have a little bit of problems with it since I hardly ever do it to get it to work properly but we'll see what we can do here download market replay and then we're going to select YM now we're going to select the date we'll do just we'll pick a random date here and um, then we're gonna hit OK and it's gonna say downloading here when it's done downloading it will go away I'm going to pause the video until it's done downloading all of the data Okay, it took like two or three more minutes. I just didn't want any of the dead space there. So now we're going to go to File, Connect, and we're going to connect to Market Replay Connection. Okay, and then this little BCR type of thing comes up here. And um, we're going to minimize this. And now we're going to come here. And. Um, trying to get it to play let me uh, pause it until I figure it out okay turns out that I had to adjust the date the date was wrong and now the market is uh, replaying and I have it at 500 times the speed so we can get to um, the uh, 9 o'clock time once you hit pause it stops and it goes back to the original speed I'm just looking up here to get close to 9 o'clock, 9.30 or so, so that we can get into the ballpark of more or less when I trade. We see the market is very nicely moving up, made a new structure high. Now we're at 9, 17. Okay. I'm going to pause it there. We're going to press play. It's 9.23. We're now looking for the market to tell us what we want to do. So now we see that when market made a new structure higher, our expectation is a higher low. And we see that we have some structure in this area, but we are looking for long somewhere in and around here. I'm going to fast forward a little bit so we can get past the market open. Okay, so we're in the market open now. We're going to press play and we're going to identify an entry. So without getting too complicated here, our expectations a new structure high we see price fail to make a new high here general weakness here we want to see what the pullback is back in this area and get a nice rotation up 
we're going to open our trade here replay Dow 15 contracts okay so we're going to get ready to look for a buying opportunity and we got one there our stop is below the 78.6 our expectation is a one to one to the upside and we'll see what the market ends up doing as the market starts to accelerate in favor and produce that expectation what we want to do is reduce risk okay and get to a break even so in this particular situation we don't have a very much room to the break even point so what we're going to do is we're going to create a fib extension here and once price closes above this area and uh, gets to the 127 we can go ahead and uh, get to that break even point and then trail uh, per the rules we can speed this up a little bit so that we don't waste too much time here speed it up some more about six it's pretty nice let's find this up a little bit price broke through there let's extend this to the to this area here we just got past this we don't have room to remove all risk but we can reduce some of that risk we're up 20 points hopefully we can get another push up okay and now we can get to a break risk-free trade we can take our Fibonacci retracements and make sure that we are above this area which we are I want to be slightly below this uh, structure area locked in something more than anything it's a risk-free trade with a little bit of profit which is fine and we got taken out and now our expectation is for another buy signal and the nice thing about this trail is that it takes you out and puts you in a decent place to reposition yourself for another long okay so now we have invitation there we don't have great rotation we want to see something a little more substantial now we've came down a lot further than we expected I don't want to be looking for any longs at the moment I just want to see what the market does okay notice I'm not too concerned with the structure and the overall um, with the structure or anything else right now I'm just going more off of the price action and the expectation now this is a weak signal however um, prices come back almost 100 percent of this so it's not a great place to look for long risk reward is great but price corrected a lot deeper than expected I am looking to find price come up and show me a potential reversal signal so I can get short as my expectation of that new structure high has weakened pretty substantially okay but nonetheless we expect price to climb so now we're going to draw a fib of this and hope that price gives us an opportunity to get short we do want to see weakness on the climb and then rotation I'll be interested to see it somewhere in this neighborhood price is accelerating a little bit here we're gonna wait for that rotation candle okay this is the signal that I told you was decent however I'm gonna sell into this didn't get a great fill okay stop is above this area here 40 points okay so usually when I have a preset at 40 it ends up being pretty much in a favorable area I don't want to extend it beyond that because just taking 40 point hit um, on a trade is just not more more than that it's just not a good idea it just it creates a, a difficult situation from a recovery standpoint from a making it up you know and I'm okay taking a 40 point hit even if my stop is not at the best place possible because once you start extending and extending and extending it just creates you know a bag of bricks for uh, from a drawdown perspective when you do take that hit 
So I'd rather take the hit and make it up than uh, have too much of a of a risky trade. Okay. So here I'm concerned about the trade not progressing in favor. Uh, after all, I am trading against an expectation, and this is a situation where I may get stopped out. It looks like pretty much this is not much different than the trades I've been taking in the last couple of days. Um, taking more of the order flow expectation in mind than the actual structure expectation. We'll see what ends up happening here. Let's fast forward this a little bit. Okay, market has uh, respoken and now is telling us that it wants to head higher. So we're going to wait for that corrective point. One of the things that I'd like to see is for price to get back to the 382. Let's fast forward that a little bit. Let's go 15 times the speed. Let price come back. Market's going to correct any time here. We're going to get that correction. Still some buying pressure here that we'd like to see. Let's have the market come down a little bit and give us an in. Looks like it's not going to give us that, so let's just take it aggressively. So now we're getting that price section that we want to see. Again, we didn't have great room to get to a break even point. So we're going to come here and draw an extension here. put risk to right below this swing this price should not get back there this market is going to continue to climb and we want to see price get up to this 127 so we can draw our fibs and then trail things a little faster here This is a very nice way to practice. And sometimes you just have to be patient and let price do its thing. 
trust in your analysis, trust in your skill set, give the trade the room it needs to work and do its thing. Okay. Sorry, I know this may be a little boring, but this is the way it would happen in, in a real trading session. So we just have to manage our trade and only move when price tells us to move, when our rules tell us to move. You know, we retested this area. So I didn't have space to remove all of my risk. So what I wanted to do was reduce some of it in case price did come back. I'm sorry. Price got past structure here. So I felt the need to reduce some of the risk as we have made a new structure high. We should not get a new structure low below this. That's why it's safe to put your stop there on a situation where you want to reduce some of the risk. Overall, we're having a generalized weak pullback price should carry on but the longer we stay in this area the weaker that expectation also becomes so we want to see the bulls get their act together and move price upward swiftly and our trade our trailing mechanism has not changed we want to see price hit this 127 area so we can then fib out the swing and get to a position where we can lock in profit so we're going from a position of still having some risk to a position of locking in some profit all in one uh, one uh, move here so in this particular case we definitely want to reduce remove risk did we hit the 127 yeah just about so let's draw a here and we can lock in some profit just below that I'd like to move it just above the uh, the 50 percent and um, and uh, definitely below the 382 gives you some room there if there happens to be the 38 happens to be confluence with a little bit of structure just get yourself a little bit below that so I usually put it somewhere above the 50 and below the 382 on locking in profit and then as the swing progresses until there's a clear correction I just keep extending and keep locking in now we're looking for extended targets so we can put price all the way up here we can put our take profit near that 200 and just trail per the rules until price takes us out so you can see a very nice way of doing this and we're going to continue on with this video until price takes us out we're at 30 times the speed so this looks a little bit like a rerun of today only I had more losers today <laughs> but it's alright it's no big deal so now we're going to see we have a little bit of weakening here we have some area that may be interacting with some longer term structure or just the fact that this market is overbought and it needs to correct a little bit so at this point do we need to do anything with our stop oops maybe lock in a little more make sure we're above that 50 make sure we give the market that little bit of room here we don't have any round numbers here so it may be interacting with some structure or just an overbought market that needs to correct. Nonetheless, 
it is what it is and we are trailing per rule so you can see these rules are very mechanical they're not don't leave too much room for uh, subjectivity and it's nice because it gives you room for your trade and it gives you an opportunity that if you do get taken out on a deeper correction it gives you an opportunity to reposition yourself and get long again so it looks like we may not survive this and we may be taken out and we are and now we're just about break even for the day again so we'll see now we have some a little bit of price acceleration to the downside we have rotation here so we're going to buy this signal stop is below their swing initially here in this particular situation so we're going to see our expectations for the market to produce a new structure high we have rotation in price let's see what the market produces here let's accelerate things a little bit here let's extend get to a break even let's slow things down put them in real time here as things really started picking up um, let's draw our fib extension here I mean our Fibonacci retracement we're going to lock in profit and we're going to speed things up again we're going to draw our extensions You know, you can just just push it up way up there because at this point you're relying more on the trail than you are on the on the actual profit target. You're looking for extended targets. The market will probably continue moving in favor as we have some bigger momentum and projection. So we expect a weak pullback. That weak pullback shouldn't get you past the 382, and therefore. giving you enough time to lock in profit not give too much back you know I want to thank Antonio for this uh, strategy it's a really nice trailing strategy one of the nicest ones I've seen and something I have incorporated and adapted into my trading and, and into my trade plan speed things up a little bit here looks like we may not survive this one either which is fine boom okay so that's that's about it you get the general idea as to how this works and um, and the entries in line with where we where we expect we took this long here look at what we had across structure rotation there was a little bit of price acceleration against us um, but nonetheless I took the trade um, worked out very nicely over here took this one got taken out on slightly better than break even then we took a short here um, against the expectation look what happens when you trade against an expectation usually ends up being a loser which is okay because sometimes you have to take that risk depending on what you see in the chart and then we took another trade in line with the expectation here we were aggressive with our entry as we needed to be because price was not giving us a lot of opportunities to correct so we took here we knew price was going to correct somewhere in here ended up being a few bars higher had a very shallow correction as expected and then price moved along and uh, we got taken out here on the trail and then we got in long here again and got taken out on the trail we ended up with a two thousand dollar uh, profit for the day on 15 contracts I hope this video had lesson to you I hope tomorrow's live streaming goes as well as this and uh, we will see each other tomorrow in the, uh, on, the on the channel thank you very much